What's going on, everybody? It is your boy. Welcome in to Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews, and today, baby, we got us another bougie versus budget. I got bougie versus budgets coming out of the woodworks because you know why? We got Mikey Dinsmore putting in some work, hard work, and he did it, killed it with the getting me. Right now, we can say without a doubt until. We uh, get some more challengers, and I've got some more to try. The home of the best Ganymede Me clone is Making Sense. Make sure you check it out, Making Sense. I'll leave the link below. So the one we're doing today, because you already saw the intro, we get right into it, baby. We're not messing around today. We're going to be talking about his version of Dolce and Gabbana's Pineapple, an amazing fragrance that sadly got discontinued. I saw way too much of it. I have a review on this fragrance. This is one of my favorite fragrances I've picked up in the last five years. It is unbelievably amazing. And it shouldn't be this good, but it is. And all right, but here's the deal. This one is a clone of it, and his version is called um, Juicy Fruit. And we'll get into that. Okay, like I said, sorry about that little mix up there. We had to change batteries real quick. Now we're rocking and rolling. So we're going to be discussing the bougie versus budget. If you've never watched one of these before, here's how they go. We got a, we take a fragrance that's very expensive. It's a bougie fragrance. Like Dolce and Gabbana's Pineapple. Bam. And we take a budget, which is going to be Making Sense's um, Juicy Fruit. And we see if the budget can replace the bougie because... The bougie is going to be hard to get and very pricey if you can find it. But what about that bottle? Don't we love that bottle? I love this bottle. I should have bought another one, but I didn't. Always dollar late, dollar, a dime, a day late, dollar short, baby. But let's find out if this bougie is worth it because this is the only uh, clone out there of this fragrance. And Mikey has it. I don't think nobody has done it. If they, if, I'm sure somebody will let me know and I'll get it. We'll compare it. But right now, Mikey's on a high streak with the best scanning me clone, no doubt. Okay, so let's put this in the air on the skin. We'll do our first test, which is first impression. How close do they smell when you first spray them? All right, let's put... Ah, don't think about it. Man, that damn, damn, that damn, that smells so good. And I'm a huge fan of the note of pineapple. And I think this would blend so good. And I'm blending it right now, actually with Ganymede on top of here. Man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend this with Ganymede and see what I can come up with. Man, it's gonna be, that might be, that might be a new hit. So I love the smell of that fragrance. It has this beautiful pineapple fruit vibe. It's just gorgeous, musky. Oh, I love it. And let's put this one in the air. Man, it's right there. I would say the opening on this one is probably, I'm gonna say it's about 90%. Still great. Don't get me wrong, it's still great at 90%. Oh man. I'm gonna tell you one thing right now when I smell them on the skin, first impressions, I actually prefer Juicy Fruits vibe over the real deal. I'm not saying it smells better or more, I mean, it, it smells more, you know, closer to it on the skin. What I'm saying is, Man, there's a certain vibe to the to, to Mikey's that I really like. I'm digging it. So, at overall score and first impressions, I'm gonna say it's about 90% there, but if we're looking at a pleasing, beautiful fragrance, they're both very beautiful and pleasing. I mean, that, that's a hit right there in my opinion. Okay, second box, performance. This was a good performing fragrance for a fresh fragrance. We're talking five, six hours. This one doubles it. Doubles it. I got 10 hours out of this bad boy. Sprayed it once. People still smell it on me all day. Unfreaking believable. I love this fragrance as far as that goes. I was like, man, it still lasts? Great. This will set you back about 50 or 40 bucks. This, if you can find it. I paid 200 bucks for it when, it, when I got it. But I tell you what, it's probably four or 500 now. Very expensive. So the budget is definitely a better deal. So if the budget performs just as good or better than the OG does perform better, and the opening is close enough, but the budget actually brings something new to the table, this brings a little something different. 
and I like that and I noticed that pretty quick when I was wearing it but unmistakably when the dry down happens it's all a perfect match so when it hits the dry down and it starts you know you know finish up the, the, the scent of the, the, the journey of the fragrance it's basically the same 97% 98% so an overall score of about 94% Given for the fact that it performs better, the budget does than the bougie. The budget still smells better overall. And it's just, a, I mean, but 90, 94% is great. Anything over an 85, it's worth it. Because you're going to be paying a lot for this. Get you the making sense version. All right. So the budget takes it down again. We got a new king on the block when it comes to these boozy versus budgets. And it's making sense. It's not some Middle Eastern house. It's not Dua. It's not Alexandra. It's making freaking sense. And Michael Dinsmore taking them down with Juicy Fruit, baby. Another good one. And we got one more coming up from making sense. He, uh, Mikey, uh, made a clone of Aqua Gio Senzo and my fair fragrances. We'll be doing that in a couple days. That's it, baby. But for now, the bougie is amazing if you can get it. I can, don't press yourself too hard. Get this bad boy. Juicy Fruit is well worth the replacement. I'll leave the link below. And I also will leave the link where if you want to sample it from me, you can. All right, baby. That's all the time I got. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay well. If you smell good, baby, and you feel good, then it's going to be all good. Fat Fragrance Reviews is out.